it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and today we're going to do a head-to-head -head comparison between my Artillion products and their John Deere and Frontier counterparts. Now if you follow this channel you know I'm a brand loyal guy. I mean how many people do you know with a John Deere leather jacket? When I bought my tractor I got Frontier everything or John Deere everything and so I've got a grapple over here behind me and I've got a set of pallet forks on the top shelf. But I've also got a grapple and a set of pallet forks from Artillion. And I'm not someone who just dabbles with my tractor on the weekends. I run a couple businesses that use this tractor every day. We use it as a forklift. I use it for clearing land. I really push it to its limits. And I've had the Artillion products for a while that I'm starting to become lo loyal to that brand as well. So. We're going to take these products side by side, we're going to weigh them and measure them, and I'm going to give you all my thoughts on which one I would recommend if you're in the market for some of these attachments. So stick around and let's get started. So I think we'll talk about pallet forks first. I came up here to my shop, number one, because it's heated, but also because I have this uh, 400 pound scale with a remote readout so we can set something on there and get a good weight. The first thing I want to do is weigh each set of pallet forks, but to do it we need to take the forks off because you can put different sets of forks on here that weigh different amounts. So I don't want that to be a factor in the comparison. All right, so this Artillion pallet fork frame has cutouts designed to reduce the weight without impacting the strength. This set is rated for 3,000 pounds. We've got 47 and a quarter by 16. We will put that board down to give us a good surface to place it on. It'd probably wobble a lot just directly on the scale. Okay, we've got the board on there and we are zeroed out. I'm thinking that Artillion lists this at 91 pounds, but I'm getting 87 pounds for just the frame with nothing on it. Their number might be more accurate, but this one gives us a baseline for comparison with the other set. So this dimension and this weight will also apply when we are doing the grapple comparison.
so we'll do the same thing we did with the artillion setup. Take the pallet forks off and measure the frame. I don't know what this pallet fork frame weighs, but to be honest, I'm not looking forward to picking it up. So I'm going to see if I can tilt the loader enough that the bottom swings out and then lower it to take most of the weight off and then scoot the scale right up to it and just ease it down instead of lifting it, turning it around and setting it down like I did with the other. And since I just turned it on, it's zeroed with this on it. So I'll have to lift it off. <clears throat> Zero. Okay, once again, we have it on zero with the board on it. So we're at 120 pounds there. So we have a difference of 33 pounds. Now, of course, I forgot to take the measurements before I laid it down here. So I'm going to have to stand it up and do that. So measuring just this frame, it's 45 and a half by 18, so it's like an inch and a half narrower, but an inch and a half taller. So really not much difference there. I didn't include this frame because this top bar is an option from Artillion, and I don't have that option to compare with. So if you look at the back of the frames right here, the cutout sections are the same, so these forks should be interchangeable. So if you already have a set of forks but want the frame or vice versa, it's interchangeable. I'm going to go ahead and weigh these forks just for my knowledge, but it doesn't really apply to this comparison because you can get multiple different styles of forks for whatever pallet fork frame you have. All right, so I have the fork lifted off of the scale. Turn it on, make sure it's zeroed with nothing on it. Okay, we're zeroed. And one of these forks weighs 63 pounds. This is the narrower three inch fork that I got from John Deere, 42 inches long. All right, so these forks are the 48 inch, four inch wide from Artillion. They weigh 95 pounds. All right, so let's talk about pallet forks for just a minute. What are you looking for in pallet forks? I mean, they don't have any exciting features or really do a whole lot. They're just on the front of your tractor so you can pick stuff up. But one thing that does matter is lift capacity. So I'm always pushing my lift capacity as far as I can. I get one pallet of freight from Uline that weighs 1,700 pounds. The most this tractor is supposed to be able to lift off the one inch off the ground is 1,700 pounds. So when I bring that up here, 
I have to load up as much weight as I can on the back, max out my lift, and then back up the driveway, and it just barely drags on the way up. Then I've got my um, IBC totes for firewood. I just got my first one filled, and I'm able to lift it a couple inches off the ground, but I can't lift it high enough to set it on my trailer or in a truck bed. So I need more lift capacity. And how do you get that? Well, one way is to reduce the weight of what you have on the front. So we're looking at, what was it, around 35 pounds of difference between this frame and the artillion frame. So I was only offered one size of forks whenever I ordered my pallet fork frame from John Deere, whereas there's uh, at least four, maybe five different versions available on the Artillion website. So I ordered a set of the 36 inch because these are the Artillion 48 inch by 4 inch forks and combined they weigh like 190 pounds. This set weighs 130 pounds that I got from John Deere, and then the set that I ordered from Artillion is 112 pounds. So my John Deere setup, the way it came configured, weighed about 250 pounds. The Artillion setup that I'm going to try on those IBC totes will weigh 180 pounds. So that 70 pounds is pretty significant. That's the difference between me needing to unstack 70 pounds of wood every time I load a tote or not unstacking that 70 pounds. And I actually could have went 20 pounds lighter if I'd gotten the uh, 2300 pound pallet fork frame instead of the 3000 pound frame. But I actually got the 3000 pound frame for a couple of specific reasons and I'll show you those now. So one of the main differences between the 3000 and the 2300 pound pallet fork frames from Artillion is this receiver hitch right here. I can put a ball in here to move my trailers. I also have a receiver hitch with a hook on it for pulling. So even though this adds 20 pounds, uh, I think it's well worth it. Another difference with Artillion is they have these chain slots right here. Now I have another video where I felt it was advantageous to move some big rocks with the forks rather than the grapple. And having these chain slots built in is a really nice feature from Artillion. So to sum up the comparison on the pallet forks, I've had this pallet fork that I got from my John Deere dealership for six months now. I've used the heck out of it. It's one of my favorite things to use. What's the difference with the Artillion? Versatility. So when you look at the price on these, it's pretty comparable. I think the John Deere may have actually been a little bit cheaper, but with the Artillion system, you get versatility. Like this overhead rack for the top or this extended backstop, whatever the correct term is for it, that's an option that you can put on this or you can take it off if you don't want that extra weight. Then you have the receiver hitch and the chain slots that I think are nice features. But the real difference is, is that this is only a pallet fork frame. It does one job. Whereas this can do a lot of jobs. So if you're spending the money and you're ordering this as a pallet fork frame, now you have the base that you can build other accessories off of. And that's what we're going to get into with the grapple and some of the other features that Artillion offers. So there's another hidden feature for a grapple, is carrying another grapple. Yeah, I'm a little bit lazy. I didn't want to go down there with a separate trip to get the Artillion grapple. So I'm going to set those parts out, we'll take some measurements and weigh the John Deere grapple, then we'll do the same for the Artillion. Alright, so I have this fully extended. This 
John Deere grapple can open to 28 and a half inches. The top jaw is 27. Lower jaw 53. When it's closed all the way, there's about a 10 inch opening, so that kind of tells you how small of an item it will fully clamp onto. All right, so I zeroed that with nothing on it. Then it is 212.5 pounds. Now we don't have to put this together to weigh it because we know exactly what the frame weighs. So this, so this grapple configuration weighs 174 pounds. That means when you add this to our pallet fork frame, you're at 260 pounds. So it is a little heavier than the John Deere version. All right, as this is currently configured, it is 43 and a half wide and 11 inches wide. The inside dimensions inside of this clamp are 19 and a half by 13. So there's a considerably larger opening here than on the John Deere version. Now whether that's a positive or negative, that's up to you to decide depending on what you're doing with it. So full height opening on this, I get 29 and a half inches, so about an inch more than the John Deere. So comparing my Frontier grapple to this Artillion grapple is kind of an interesting discussion. Because the Frontier setup has a wider bottom rake and a wider top grapple, the way that it's currently configured. But the thing about this Artillion system is like I said on the pallet forks, it's a modular system. So you can set this up a lot of different ways. There are even two different ways you can set up the arrangement I have as far as the width right here. You can reduce these gaps. But I have it set up rake, grapple, rake. You can do three rakes. You can do the setup I have. You can go grapple, rake, grapple. Or you can do three grapples. So in this configuration you have a little bit wider stance on the frontier but you can change that and gain more gripping power on the outside and a little more stability on picking up something like a big log now i've actually taken both of these grapples out and picked up the same log the largest one that i've been able to lift so far probably 20 foot long 18 inch diameter i'm guessing it weighs 13, 1400 pounds, and I picked it up with my frontier grapple when I pulled it out of the woods, and I brought it down here a couple hundred yards. Then I picked it up with the artillion grapple, and I carried it down to our wood yard. And both of them did just fine. They did their jobs, what they're designed to do. I feel like you have a little more control, and I feel like I can um, manipulate this grapple a little bit better. Something about the way the nose is. One part of it that I know for sure is that these shoot straight out on the bottom so you can get them level with the ground and skim across. Where these tilt up on the front, I don't know if you can see it where it's at, but 
it means that you have to be at a kind of an unusual angle to scoop under something. The difference is this is a modular system designed to do a lot of different things. What you have with the implements that I got from my dealer are implements designed to do a specific task and they do that well but there's no flexibility. You can't change anything about it. So I've already talked about several uses for this system. One attachment for this that I haven't got to try yet is the front hoe bucket. A front hoe is kind of a alternative to a backhoe. Now a backhoe is more capable than this front hoe bucket, but my backhoe was over $9,000. So you're not even in the same category, but I watched a video from Artillion where they used that front hoe bucket to dig a trench like 12 feet wide and 14 inches deep. So if you just have like a, a little trench and you need to lay some line in it or something, it's going to be a great option for that. And you can just add that if you already have this system. Now if you have a frontier grapple and a frontier pallet fork system, you can't just add a front hoe to it. So I don't know that these attachments from Artillion on their own are better or worse than the frontier versions because one set's heavier, the other one's lighter. Um, they're pretty similar in what you can do with them. But the difference is if you invest in the Artillion system, then you can add and add and add to it for more functionality. So I've done the best I could to give a fair, honest opinion of the difference between these Artillion attachments and the ones I got from my dealership. I hope that this information has been helpful to you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. In just a minute, I'm going to roll some footage of these implements being used, and you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos here. So I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel and check out some of those other videos, and I'll see you next time.